All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a TTM video. And as we know, uh, TTM just stands for Through the Mail. And Through the Mail Autograph Seeking is very simple yet uh, very addictive. All you do is just send your favorite celebrity or favorite athlete a letter asking for their autograph. You put the item in there that you want to autograph, whether it be uh, a trading card or photograph or some other item. Put a self-addressed stamped envelope in there and then you just wait when it arrives you run to your camera and you film a video that's what we're here for today we've got four returns let's get right to it this is going to be uh, coach's corner because all four returns are all coaches or managers in the major leagues so let's start with number one from vero beach florida there it is Mr. Ron Paranoski. Um, Coach Paranoski is 83 years old now. He was a relief pitcher with the uh, Dodgers and Twins and Tigers from 1961 to 73, a left-handed reliever. Had a very good uh, career as a reliever. He was 79 and 74 in an era when, um, you know, relief pitchers weren't that prevalent as they are today. He had 178 lifetime saves. But... That being said, as good a player he was, he was an even better coach, and he's best known probably for his career as a pitching coach for the Los Angeles Dodgers, as he's pictured here talking to one of his, uh, one of his pitchers on the mound. Under Tommy Lasorda, he coached from 81 to 1994 and was a World Series champion as a player back in 63 and 65 for the Dodgers. And then as a coach uh, in 81 and 88, also with the Dodgers. And uh, he was uh, very well respected around the league. Coached Fernando Valenzuela in that first year. And for those of you who weren't around for Fernando Mania, he was a legitimate phenom. He captured the imagination and the attention of the entire United States. And, uh, of course, was Rookie of the Year, and they won the um, – World Series in Fernando's rookie year. But he also coached, a, you know, that same year was a young Dave Stewart was on the Dodgers and a young Bob Welch. Both of those guys went on with the Oakland A's to become superstar pitchers. And then, of course, in 1988, he coached um, Oral Hershiser in his Cy Young year when, again, the Dodgers won the World Series, but Hershiser was almost unhittable and uh, broke the record for scoreless inning streak at 59, I think, but that's, they were all coached by the same man, Ron Paranoski. So got that back in 18 days from Vero Beach. There's no fee for that autograph. And the next one has another coach from Cypress, Texas, signing one of one and two of two, Mr. Art Howe on the 86 tops, all right, it's 88 tops traded. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And he actually, um, Art Howe actually attended foot college on a football scholarship at the University of Wyoming and was injured and had to give up his football career. And he came back and decided to give baseball a shot and was signed by the Pirates at age uh, 24 in the early 1970s. And... Um, was an average player, part-time player for the Pirates and A's and Astros. And then he became um, a manager uh, for also for the A's and Astros and Mets. And um, his lifetime record was 1,129 wins, 1,137 losses. So just under 500 at 498. Um, he played in 1971, Art Howe in the minor leagues played AAA in Charleston, West Virginia, and that's where I'm currently sitting, Charleston, West Virginia. And it's also where I played my college baseball games in the same stadium called Watt Powell Park. Um, and that's where the Charleston Charlies used to play. That's where Art Howe played. And um, we'll find out in a couple of minutes here why playing in Charleston for the Charleston Charlies was 
doubly important for what's taking place today. Um, but that's oh, and in, in, in the movie Moneyball, um, because he was um, coach of the A's when Billy Bean's really working on his sabermetrics and uh, Moneyball program. He was played by the great actor, rest in peace, Philip Seymour Hoffman, played the role of Art Howe. So I got that back in 11 days from Art Howe. There was no fee on that. Moving along to number three today, another coach. And that's Trader Jack, Jack McKeon, who's now, unbelievably, 88 years old. Uh, former manager, two-time manager of the year in the National League. Uh, lifetime record of 1,051 wins, 990 losses for a 515 winning percentage. World Series champion in 2003 with the Marlins. And got the name Trader Jack. He was GM of the Padres for about a 10-year period from eight, uh, 1980 to 1990. And nobody was safe. He would trade everybody at any time. And he got the nickname Trader Jack. Um, but he managed the Royals and the A's and uh, the Padres, Reds, and then, of course, the Marlins. And he's actually in the Padres Hall of Fame. No fee for Jack McKeon. I got that back in seven days. And moving on to number four. This is... The reason I mentioned Charleston, West Virginia earlier, this is former manager Joe Morgan. Uh, Joe Morgan is also 88 years old, much like Jack McKeon, uh, former Major League Baseball manager and coach. He was the manager of the 1971 AAA Charleston Charlies, where Art Howe and a lot of former Pirates, future Pirates, got their start. Guys like Dave Parker and Richie Zisk and John Candelaria, Kent Tocolvi, uh, a guy named Willie Randolph, who the Pirates traded to um, the Yankees, became a superstar there, second baseman. Um, but he he was called up kind of in a way in 1972 and was the coach for the Pirates, and then he went back to AAA in the 73 and 74, kept coaching, and then uh, became bullpen coach of the Red Sox. He was on the uh, bench when... The Red Sox got beat, or got beat in the 1986 World Series by the Mets and then eventually took over as manager of the Red Sox. It was 301 wins and 262 losses, 535 winning percentage with the Red Sox. Um, still, uh, because he's from the Boston area, he grew up about 20 minutes away from Boston. He's kind of a still a local legend there. But also, in addition to coaching uh, at Walt Powell Park, he wrote me a note, Michael, I played for the Charlies in the early 60s and against them in 1958, had good times in Charleston and made many good friends. And he autographed that again, Joe Morgan. So that's kind of neat. I appreciate him doing that because, I, I, of course, I let him know that um, I was from the Charleston area and that he's still remembered here as a coach of the Charlies manager of the Charlies. Got that back from uh, Coach Morgan in 10 days. There's no fee on that. So those are the four returns today. Thanks for watching, guys. I always have my email in the description below the video. If you have any questions or comments or need some information, just drop me an email. I'll be happy to uh, give you anything I have, any information, any fee, any uh, expected time, turnaround times. Uh, anything I have is yours. Don't be afraid to ask. Leave a comment down below. Uh, I always read them. I love to read them. I love to respond and get some conversations going down there. Remember to hit like if you like this video and also click the subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all my future videos. I've got some more TTM videos coming right up. So stay tuned, guys. But, but thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you soon.